Hello, I'm Nick Rodriguez with the Squid Ink Service Team, and today we're going to talk about taking apart the Copilot 128A printhead. To gain access into the inside of the Copilot 128 printhead, you're going to need a number one Phillips screwdriver. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the stainless steel nozzle plate cover. Four screws will hold that into place. With the screws removed, you should be able to pull the stainless steel cover right off. Inspect the quality of the gasket. Now we'll take the side cover off. Two screws here hold that in place. Now you'll have access to the insides of the Copilot 128 printhead. Right now we're going to replace the 128 print engine. First thing we're going to want to do is disconnect the ink line going to the print engine itself. The next thing we'll do is remove the four screws that hold the print engine in place. Once the screws have been loose, we're going to want to take the data cable and loosen that up from the main board. The best way to do that is to use a flat screwdriver and pop the tabs on either side. Once the tabs are lifted, the data cable should slide out. Now the print engine is able to be removed. Once you have your replacement print engine ready, you're going to want to reinstall the data cable. Now pay, pay close attention to the keyed corner on the side of the data cable. This will line up to a keyed corner in the back of the print engine. Line them up carefully and push. Now we'll install the flat data cable into the print board. Install it flat and then go ahead and push the tabs in on either side. Now we're able to carefully place the print engine down and tighten up the four screws. It's a good idea just to get them started, tighten them up after they're all four have been installed. Now if we're replacing a print engine without replacing the ink manifold, you're going to want to cut the flare off of the tube using a pair of flush cut dykes. And with your screwdriver you can ream it out a little bit just to make installation a little bit easier. And slide it onto the bar. Now we're going to be doing a Copilot 128A board replacement. Before we start unscrewing the screws here, we're going to want to make sure we loosen up the other things that are connected to the board. We've got our stepper motor, our vacuum line that's connected to our vacuum sensor, and our print engine data cable. First thing we'll do is remove the print engine data cable. We'll pop the tabs on either side. slide the cable up. And then we'll pull out the vacuum tube. Next we'll remove 
the stepper motor connector. Now that we have those connections removed, we're going to want to unscrew the four screws here and the two on the back side behind the ink cartridge. This is the board. You'll notice a bracket here in place to help uh, make that connection a little bit more sturdy. There's nothing in here that you need to take to replace for your next board, except for maybe your purge button. So I have my replacement printhead board ready. I'm gonna install the first four screws here first. Keep it in place. And now I'm ready to reconnect the other devices. We'll go down the line here. First, we'll reinstall the stepper motor connector. You always want to use this connection here. Next, we'll go ahead and install this, the vacuum line. The vacuum line will always connect to the barb on the bottom. Like so. Next, we'll go ahead and connect the print engine data cable. You want to make sure the tab is pulled up and you will slide the cable in. Once it's seated, go ahead and push on either side. And it should lock in place. With the back two screws installed, your replacement of the printhead board is complete. We're now going to go ahead and perform an ink manifold replacement. The manifold that we'll be replacing is right here. And there's three things coming out of it. You see your ink line, vacuum line, and stepper motor connection. Before we undo the screws on the bottom holding the ink manifold in place, we're going to go ahead and disconnect each one of these. First, we'll do the ink line. Just pull out, vacuum line, and stepper motor connection. Next, we'll go ahead and undo the screws in the bottom holding it in place. With that, the ink manifold should just slide out. Now to perform the manifold replacement, this cover doesn't need to be removed. But I'm going to go ahead and remove it and show you what it looks like underneath there. One screw on the back, and one screw on the top. Once those are out of the way, you can go ahead and pull upwards and remove that cover. This is the side view of the ink manifold with nothing connected. When you're doing an ink manifold replacement, it's important to understand which ink you are actually replacing. Oil, solvent, or UV. Some of the differences are visible. 
uh, with oil, you'll see a greenish yellowish ink line and black o-ring. With solvent, you'll see a clear but more rigid ink line and a yellow o-ring. With our UV, you'll see the same ink line as the solvent, but a black o-ring and a noticeable lack of offset screws, as can be seen in solvent and oil. Once you have the appropriate ink manifold and you're ready to reinstall it, you'll take your manifold and slide it in place. It should be flush up against the wall here. At this point, you can go ahead and fasten the screws from the bottom. Once tightened down, we can go ahead and flip it and reinstall our lines. With the new manifold, there should be no flare here. But if there is, you can go ahead and cut it. Reinstall the ink line. Ink line is always going to be the longest of the two lines. We'll go ahead and reinstall our vacuum line. the lowest barb. Once that's installed, we'll go ahead and grab our stepper motor line and plug it into the connection. Now we can go ahead and reassemble the printhead. First thing we'll do is put the side cover on. Next thing we'll do is put the nozzle cover on. This is a good opportunity to replace the printhead gasket. Best way to remove the gasket would you use a flathead screwdriver and just push it off. Your replacement gasket will look like this. We'll have a film on the back of it. Before installing that replacement gasket, you want to make sure the surface area where the gasket will be installed is cleaned. To install the gasket, you'll want a small screwdriver or something that you can use to line it up. We'll go ahead and peel the film off the back. And I like to place it on the screwdriver like so. This will allow you to line up the gasket with the orifice. Now it's ready to be installed. And that completes our assembly of the 128A Copilot printhead. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more service-related videos, check us out on YouTube or find us on the web. Thanks for watching.